This is Cameron Chai bringing you another episode of Azo TV. And today I'm speaking to Ed Gooding from Princeton Instruments and he's going to tell us about their Acton SP2300 spectrometer. Okay, thanks for having me. So this is a uh, spectrometer that's made by our company, Princeton Instruments. It's a 300 millimeter focal length imaging spectrometer. It's used by people doing Raman spectroscopy, fluorescence, photoluminescence, and any kind of optical spectroscopy. Uh, we have two detectors mounted on this instrument. This is the Pro-EM 1600, the new uh, EM CCD for spectroscopy from Princeton Instruments. And this is the Spec-10 Plus, or Pylon, the new liquid nitrogen cooled CCD camera from Princeton Instruments. And I'd also like to show you uh, a new feature that we've uh, developed in our software, which is called intensity calibration, which solves a problem that's been around in spectroscopy for over 100 years. So when spectroscopists collect a spectrum, what they see is not the true spectrum of their sample. The reason for that is every optical component in the light path adds its own set of uh, changes to the recorded spectrum. So you want to get back from the spectrum you have collected to the true spectrum. How do you do that? Up until now, it's been real difficult. I'll give you an example over here if you want to focus in on this image. Uh, these three spectra are all of the same thing. The red spectrum is the photoluminescence of zinc oxide. The blue and the green spectra are also the photoluminescence of zinc oxide, but they haven't been corrected. You record a spectrum like this, you might think you've got something that you don't have. I'll give you another example. A lot of applications of Raman spectroscopy, near IR spectroscopy, things like that are in process control. You've got a bunch of white tablets that have aspirin in them and other things. You want to know how much aspirin they've got. Well, to do that, you can collect a Raman spectrum and measure the intensity of your peaks, but how do you know that the intensity is correct? And these spectra, the relative intensities of the different peaks can vary by a factor of three or four before correction. So you want to know exactly how much aspirin you've got. You need to know that all of your peaks have the correct relative intensity. So we now have a uh, one, one click solution to that which is called Intensical intelligent calibration. It comes with our 64-bit light field data acquisition software. And let me show you a uh, two sets of data. This spectrum here is the uncorrected spectrum of our intensity calibration light source. Uh, there are a lot of uh, issues in this spectrum which I won't go into, but this is the spectrum that the uh, spectrometer actually records. This over here is the spectrum after software correction with the intensity calibration routine. So right now the light source is simply correcting itself, but it can correct anything. It can correct the aspirin spectrum, it can correct the zinc oxide spectrum, anything you like. So for the first time we have a routine that will make this whole intensity correction process seamless and transparent to the end user. Right, Ed, what's the spectral range of the SP2300? Uh, these spectrometers go anywhere from the vacuum UV out to the mid-IR, and we make CCD detectors and uh, in-gas cameras, which cover the range, again, from the vacuum UV and even the X-ray to out to the near-IR. And, and how long does it typically take to take a measurement? Anywhere from microseconds to hours. Our users vary from uh, people doing single molecule imaging at very, very high speeds to people taking hours long images and spectra of stars. All right, Ed, and if anybody wants more information about the Actron SP2300, they can go to your website. That's right, www.princetoninstruments.com. All right, then, Ed, thanks very much for taking a bit of time to tell us about the Acton SP2300 spectrometer. You're very welcome.